Hi, this is Nicole Hetty for Paper Tray Ink, and today I thought I would show you a quick little video about how to assemble the new bunny bag dies. Um, I have already separated the dies. They come all wired together, but I've already separated them, and I've already cut my basic pieces. I've um, cut one for the front, rather that one's for the back, and this one is the for the front, and I just simply cut the flap or the face off of one of them. So that can be discarded. So you end up with one piece that looks like this. It's the whole uh, die cut here. And the other half looks like this with the rounded flap cut off the top. Next thing is to score. And it's already kind of established on here where you want to be scoring. And I'm going to show you here um, as well, but wherever there's like little angles and um, tabs, you just want to score there. So you can see here, there's an angle here and an angle here, and you just want to score right along that little tab right there. And you can go ahead and turn it, and you can see here. That's the beginning of the tabs at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and score right along there. Just like that. And we just have a couple more scores to make. I'm going to go ahead and do the one right here. See this little um, cutout right there? You just want to go ahead and go right down that line and you're going to do one roughly in the middle here and you don't even need to do it that far down it's just, just to get you started with the fold um, for the gusset sides and last but certainly not least you want to do this top flap here so super easy it's just a bunch of straight lines connecting where all the tabs are I'm going to do pretty much the same thing for this other one except for you have one um, less score since you don't have the rounded flap at the top. Go ahead and turn this. And if you just line this up so this comes right towards, you can see there's your score line right there. And if you just move this until your little point gets to the score line, it will line up perfectly every time right there. And just one more here in the middle to get my gusset started. So that's how you do the basic scoring. Next we're going to move on to the face. For the quick and simple way I'm just going to do some basic um, pasting. There's some more advanced stitching that you can do but I'm going to cover that a little bit later on in the video. So I've got a little nose that I die cut here. It's like a little rounded triangle. And I did it with the um, Melonberry felt. And I'm just pe peeling the back off the piece of this score tape here. And I'm going to go ahead and attach the nose right there between the sets of holes. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the eyes. and. You can do them um, with any little stamps you have in just about any set. You've got some interesting ones that you can work with. Um, I'm using this little tiny leaf from uh, Mini Blooms and I'm stamping it with Canon Clay ink. And I'm going to add it right above the whiskers here. Just like that. And next I'm going to go ahead and add the whiskers, and that's what those holes are there for. You can use anything you want to add the whiskers. Um, you can use thin strips of cardstock, baker's twine, um, pipe cleaners will work. There's all kinds of stuff, that different things that you can use. I'm going to use a little bit of um, button twine here. And what you want to do to do this is you want to go down through one side on the front 
and up through the up through the matching hole on the other side of the nose. So you end up with something that looks like like that. I'm going to do that with all three sets of holes. So there's all of the um, twine threaded through. And what I'm going to do on the other side, you'll see it looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, place a large glue dot here. And it's going to help hold the twine in place. And it's going to hold this shut. Hold the whole bag shut. Now if you wanted it to be resealable, you could um, put a piece of Velcro there or a magnet or whatever you like. So I've just adhered the little tabs here and here, the thinner tabs on the sides so that you end up with a box like this. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and adhere the bottom tabs. And remember, you really only need to put adhesive on one of the big, one of the big tabs, not both. So the smaller tabs go in first with their sticky with adhesive and go ahead and push the bottom down and then fold the other one down that has the adhesive on it, the other large one, like that. So what you end up with is basically a little box with the bottom. So what you do to turn it into the bag per se is to push in these sides. Remember how you score just a little bit on either side to help create a gusset. You're going to press those together and you've got your little glue dot there or velcro whatever you're using and you go ahead and fold that bunny face right over the front Oops, like that and stick it in place and there's your little bag now next for the ears you've got this is the basic peel and stick way to do it basically um, you've got inner ears and you've got outer ears, and you need two outer ears and two inner ears. Uh, for the inner ears, I suggest using a pattern paper or a felt or something um, with a punch of color, because that's where you're going to get your accent in. And I'm just adhering these in place, and that creates your ears there. And then I'm going to add score tape to the bottom of each ear like this and that gets stuck right on the back side of the box and get the other one here like that and that makes your bunny it's not adorable so we're going to move on to the paws Two of these dies come with the come with the die kit here, and I just put adhesive um, closest to the flat side here because I like to keep this end um, unadhered so I can kind of stick something underneath his paws. Now you can stick these um, on the outside edge, like you could do it right behind the flap like that if you wanted the arms to be outreaching. Um, but I kind of like them over here where you can just line up that flat edge and put them in place like that. So there's the first one and there's the second one. And like I said, the middle is left loose here. And here I've got, there's an egg and tulip and leaves that are included with the die set. And I'm going to kind of just stick this under, oops, under the paws, like that. So it looks like she's holding a little Easter egg. Okay, one last finishing touch is there's a small scallop circle, basically, included in the die set. And that's actually so you can create a tail, if you like, and that can get stuck right on the back here like that. So that is your basic bunny bag. 
Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the stitching dies if you want to get a little bit more elaborate and detailed um, with your work on the bunny bag. Uh, earlier I showed you how you could cut a plain inner ear using the plain inner ear die, but there's also these two dies uh, that come with your collection. This one you can see has an outer cutting edge and all the little holes, and this one has just the holes without an outer cutting edge. What you want to do is go ahead and die cut your uh, regular outer ear and use the die with just the holes. Place it on here. You can hold it in place with so many glue dots or something if you like and run it back through your die machine to cut all those little stitching holes. You'll end up with something that looks like this. You also want to use the other in your ear stitching piece, the one with the cutting edge, and you'll end up with something like this. And you could use paper or felt, but I've used felt for my sample project. So all you'll have to do is place this, line this right up with the holes on the ear, and use a needle and thread, and stitch it right into place. It'll end up looking like this. Now the back side does end up a little bit messy, so what I would recommend doing is using some score tape and running a couple lines of it down the back side of the ear, making sure it's pressed firmly in place. And then take a regular plain outer ear and line it right up with the back and press them together. And that covers up um, the messy stitching on the back but leaves the front with that nice clean classic look. So you'd want to go ahead and make two of those. For the nose, I showed you earlier how you go ahead and die cut a piece that looks like this for the um, face and the back of the bag. But what you want to do if you want to add the stitched nose um, is use the two stitching noses. So this one right here, you can see it does not have an outer edge just like the inner ears had. And this one does have a cutting edge. So what you'll do is go ahead and place this right here in between the whisker holes and run it through your die cutting machine again and you'll end up with something like this. I've got the little piece of felt that I cut with the nose that has the cutting edge and here you can see I just stitched it in place, lined it up with the holes there. So after you do your stitching you end up with this nice detail for the nose and the ear. So that's just another thing you can do to play with your bunny bag.